And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio. Well, I have made some progress. As you can see, I am around the corner. I'm over halfway done, which is awesome. I am extending the uh, the RoboPorts. I, this corner was absolutely packed, so I've cleared the the main, you know, the the main border. And the bases around it are still just absolutely packed full. So I am down this far. And I've got a big thick area here and then a whole bunch of trees right here. So I want to get rid of this area and see if we can extend the RoboPort range and get rid of all those trees and continue on because this area here is going to be really tough. Uh, and then as we round the bend all the way up around, it will be pretty straightforward. So I've, um, you know, gone a little bit uh, in ahead here. And there it is. Because uh, this is a long process, and I don't want to give everybody more of the same. But I am trying a new strategy in my placement of turrets, um, it has really been tough to sort of figure out where my turrets are um, and, you know, keep, keep a stack on me as well as keep them, um, keep them good, keep them repaired and everything. So I'm, I call it sort of a front line, um, strategy where I just you know get as close as I can and just build one solid line going across let's uh, aggro some of these biters get rid of them um, as best as we can uh, these little outposts are just awesome for clearing out biters and mass here um, just takes them out really efficiently um, and we got some some stragglers here. Take care of those guys. And wow, they're just they just keep coming. The slow ones they kind of waddle in. Fire. These guys are these guys cause a lot of damage. The fire ones, a lot of damage. So here we go. Let's just place the wall of death here. Oh. Then they just aggro on me. Let's uh, take them over here. There we go. And yeah, there are, a lot of them get destroyed. Uh, a lot of them get damaged and destroyed. But for what we do, uh, we really need to do as much damage as possible here. Look at all the ones they destroyed. That is impressive in that short amount of time. So we've got a bunch of worms down here. Worms are not too bad. It's one or two shots to kill a worm. But, uh, so let's just keep, before they can have a chance to build up, I really want to make sure that uh, we're killing them. We're continually pushing. Uh, we've got uh, some straggler bases over here. That I want to get rid of. See, I'm putting them in a line, and that really helps keep track of where they are. So we've got a few bases out here. Took care of those. Excellent. We got one little base. Oh, no, that took care of that. So with those gone, I don't want to aggro any more biters on this side. So I'll take all of these down. And they won't aggro anymore. They'll kind of wander back up go back to what they were doing before and I can just walk and pick up the turrets that I've placed it's really it's really nice to be able to just walk and pick them up so as you can see these clear out a massive area and we want to continue that process as close as we can get Oh, we've got a whole bunch of worms over here. I'm just going to continue a line down here. 
these big these big spawners these are probably the hardest to kill because they take three or four shots and yes the sniper turrets do a lot of damage but when you're doing three or four shots just to kill one thing uh the gives the biters a chance to really wreak havoc oh there's a huge deposit of stone right here didn't even didn't even realize that so pick up all these turrets. My actual diamond axe is is feeling a little fatigued here. It's uh, we have a little base over here. It's like a little expansion base. Take these away. Take those away before they have too much of a chance. So we've got a good front line. Uh, where's our edge? Ooh, we're coming up to another area for uh, expansion of my network. So let's go up here. Where is it? I think this one can be expanded since it's right next to the wall. Oh, that one. That one looks like I expanded already. So that's good. So where is this going to be placed about? So it's right in the mess of all of this. Use some bots, clear up, clear up that area a little bit, and then I can come in with some turrets and kind of clean it a little bit more. Get ready for the expansion. And there we go. It's a good, good clearing out of some bases and some enemies. And take that when it's repaired. So now that we've got a little bit over here, um, let's see what we need here. So I'm going to shift click that. I hope that there's the, uh, I always worry that, so all of these here need to go and I need to create a front line here. Otherwise it's just going to get overrun. As it constructs, it'll just get overrun and I don't want that. As it is, there's a lot of, there's a lot of biters down here. Okay, so we've got a try to clear out the uh, artifacts. Make sure, make sure the artifacts don't get uh, mixed in with my inserters. Okay. Oh man, look at this. This is bad. These are just going to town up here. Okay new round of those so all of these pretty much are out of ammo so let's take all these down also this clears out doing it that that way and just holding the right click clears out the da the destroyed ones so they don't actually get rebuilt which is which is handy okay so this one's out of ammo these two are out of ammo. Now that this is fully stocked, I can take this away because it really can protect itself really well. So I'm not going to worry about that. As far as trees go, I don't want all these trees, any trees in here kind of upset the, upset the flow. Take all these. I try to, you know, clean up, get a huge area cleaned up and let the bots because i need it i don't want to get my construction bots too busy because they need to repair stuff so how am i doing here so this is the main line that's coming down so i'm not going to put another one i could put another one here but it's really close to the uh, bases and i really don't want to risk having all my construction bots being taken up. See all this stuff that's damaged in here? 
Uh, all my all my bots are being used right now, so nothing is getting repaired or replenished. So we need to continue the line. So let's go down here. And we got a little base over here that we can take out. Take some of this stuff out while we can. Oh man, here we go. Again, these are not gonna get repaired right away because the bots are in use. So like these are all destroyed. I don't need to replace those. So these can all come with me. And that one is really damaged. I don't want that one in my inventory. Okay, these are out of ammo already. Let's continue the fight. Bring these up while they're sort of aggroed on the biters or on the bots. I can uh, clear out some space here. Double line it on this front. It's kind of a flanking front. And look at all the worms. Holy cow. So give ourselves a little bit of breathing room here. That way nothing can interfere with our destruction. So these are all in, no, these are not in, not in range. So I want to take these away. And these, now that these are all dead. Okay, bots look like they've kind of caught up. I've got about 4,000 bots in the system right now. So it's a lot of bots. And now we can take out this line. Got a few straggler artifacts that are getting picked up, but that's fine. All right, now, oh, this line is hurting. And you can go, and you can go. Come over here. So now we got a whole bunch of wood in our way, and I really hate dealing with forests. So let's first clear out as much of the forest as I can. This is going to be a lot of wood in my system, and yeah, get out of there. Easier to navigate. Oh, come on, get out of there. Get rid of the wood first, and then I can go in and grab the artifacts. That way, the swarm of 4,000 bots can go in and, you know, take out all those trees, and then I can, you know, grab, grab them for the uh, artifacts. Because otherwise, they'll just go for these, and the wood will just be done so piecemeal that they'll end up just all getting destroyed. I lose a lot of bots, and it's not to say I don't lose some bots. I do definitely lose a lot of bots. There's a lot of biters in that little area right there. Come on up here, guys. But the, the forest also gives us a little reprieve from just the massive amount of bases that are here. Man, it's so many. So we got some more bases here. That one's dead. Uh, I want to take out all of these as well. So as these pick off the bases and the biters, uh, it helps quite a bit. So we're looking to round the bend, so to speak. And I've found that uh, the corners are very difficult because it's kind of have to fight two fronts at a time and it's very very hard 
but this one looks like we've got a little break with the forest that's right here. So if I do sort of like this, give myself a, a little bit of a break in here, where's the edge? So we're not near a new base yet, still kind of on the frontier. Uh, let's take out all of these. Any, did I miss any? There's some up here. I'll just, uh, so we got these ones up here. And right along this edge, I got a bunch more. So you can see how much progress we can make just in a short amount of time uh, with, this, with this way of doing it. Um, you know, we were way up here. And so we've chewed through a massive amount of biters. And now we've got a bunch of turrets that are out of out of order. So let's back those up, get those repaired, grab them. These are all probably low on ammo. Take out all of these. And now I can do a mass... Uh, picking up of artifacts. I don't even know how many artifacts I have in the system right now. I mean, it is just thousands. So we got a few uh, bases over here I can pound out. Clear out some space here. This is going to be tough right here. This area is absolutely huge so what I'm gonna do is probably dig into this side make sure that there's nothing major over here and then uh, cut a sloth right through the center so I can start moving this way um, because this is I mean this is the base here the next one probably won't be for way down here so it's going to be a while before I can put a new outpost in. And there's a whole bunch of turrets just sitting up there. Because the outposts really allow sort of a, a centralized area of protection for the bots to recharge and for everything to, everything to work out well. So uh, this line is pretty old. Oh, I'm full. So let's uh, take out all of these. It's amazing how many artifacts I I uh, gather up. Okay, how many damaged? I do have a lot of damaged turrets on me. Um, I'll deal with that later. It takes me a while to put them all down. I'll deal with that a little bit later. So now I've got so many turrets on me that I'm not going to really worry about picking up too many turrets for a while. So I'm just going to mow through <clears throat> as many of these as I can and uh, sort of not worry about it. But there's a whole bunch of forest in here. And I really, I really hate dealing with forest really hate it so let's sort of take a little bit of this area down while they're aggroed on the bots so this is just we'll just mow through these give them a couple heartbeats and then do another line And this is going to be pretty thick in here, so let's do a closer line. Because we're still within construction range, but all of our bots are gathering up artifacts right now. We do have a few that are repairing, which is good that they prioritize repairing. I like that. Get rid of some more forest here.
Okay. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Uh, I will continue working on this and come back when we are close to finishing it off. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.